Здравствуйте, друзья! С вами Амбаров. В одном из своих видео я рассказал вам о стереотипах об Англии и англичанах с позиции человека, который уже достаточно долго тут живет. Но я решил, что мое мнение слишком субъективно, поэтому было бы неплохо обсудить эти вещи с англичанином и сказать «Знаешь, вот русские думают, что вы такие сяки, что ты думаешь по этому поводу?» Так я и сделал. Я позвонил своему знакомому Джо и сказал «Джо, ты не хотел бы поучаствовать в моем новом видосе? Я буду рассказывать тебе о стереотипах, которые у нас сложились об англичанах, а ты бы поведал свою точку зрения. Согласен ты с ними, не согласен или может быть это полный абсурд сегодня вы увидите это видео надеюсь оно вам понравится если оно вам понравится поставьте лайк подпишитесь на канал и заодно оставьте какой-нибудь комментарий ребята в одном из своих прошлых видосов когда я общался с иеном и задавал ему некоторые вопросы люди отписывались в комментариях о том что они не смогли видео посмотреть поскольку не нашли как включить субтитры и это на самом деле очень обидно, потому что мы реально старались. Ну так вот, если вы смотрите это видео со своего компьютера, тогда внизу в углу, в, тогда внизу в углу экрана у вас такая есть шестеренка. Нажмите на нее, и там один из пунктов будет субтитры. Нажмите на, эту, на, на этот пункт и выберите субтитры, которые не автоматические, ручные. А потом там будет значок именно включить субтитры рядом с, этим, с этой шестеренкой. Нажмите на него, и тогда они появятся. Субтитры, которые я для вас сделал. Если же вы смотрите это видео с планшета или телефона, тогда в углу экрана наверху у вас должно быть э, такие три точечки. Нажмите на них и тоже выберите субтитры. Ну, надеюсь, вам будет понятно, как это сделать. Но их можно включить. Вам не обязательно пытаться перевести самому и сидеть там со словарем. Hello everyone, it's me Kirill here and my friend Joe over here. Um, I recorded a video about stereotypes in England, about English people or England and um, it's always subjective, you know, because it's, I've, I'm not a, I have, well I've lived in the country for nine years but that's not too much and obviously Joe will, will try to explain to me some of these things, where they come from maybe and uh, why, why are they on this list, I don't know. Uh, but as any stereotype, to be honest, if we were talking about stereotypes, uh, and I, I will say that I'm Russian, people would normally go something like, well, I'm Russian, I'm drinking vodka for breakfast, and I'm a criminal. Yeah, but you actually fit that stereotype, don't you? Well, that's true. <laughs> well, I don't always drink vodka for breakfast, because yeah. sometimes when I wake up, it's it's a lunchtime. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've got a list of... 14 stereotypes here that I want to discuss with Joe. I'm gonna put the subtitles for people to read so okay. they all now know that. Um, but some of them are strange and some of them could be offensive, but don't get offended, just no, say I'm this is crap. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. The first one <laughs> is porridge. People think that in UK everyone eats porridge, a lot of porridge. Okay. Uh, I didn't I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> I don't think I've had porridge in maybe five years, so I don't fit that stereotype. Uh, Do you think it, it could be the age thing? Yeah, probably probably older people have a lot of porridge. I've yeah. never yeah, I've never been that interested. I think I'd rather have some chocolate uh, cocoa pops or something for cereal. Oh right. <laughs> yeah, so like this ready ready breakfast thing. Yeah, something yeah, like that, yeah. 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 <laughs> I think this stereotype came, comes from um, Russian interpretation of Sherlock Holmes. There was a one, one scene when, when the guy approaching a lord and says, you're porridge, sir. So, yeah, I think it's, it's a famous yeah. scene. And That's probably what, from uh, Charles Dickens, what was it, um, Oliver Twist, when, oh, he, yeah. when he has the porridge, he's, yeah, he's like, can I have some more, sir, or something yes, like that. Yes, yeah. I think that's it, that's it. Movies, the, yeah. uh, movies and books, that's that probably where it comes from. Yeah. Another one, there is rain, there is hail, and where, where, where you don't clearly see. Fog, mist, Fog. Mist. yeah, we, we yeah. call it yeah. misty land kind of deal. Yeah. Uh, the, what do you think about um, mist and, uh, and rain in England? I think the rain's pretty fair. Uh, anywhere you go in England, you can guarantee the weather's going to be bad. Uh, maybe you have like five days in August where the weather's good. All right, uh, that's about it. Yeah, we wear a t-shirt. <laughs> that's interesting because when I was recording a video about stereotypes myself, yeah, I was thinking that. Our area is quite dry, to be honest. Cambridge is like one of the only good areas. I think, yeah, like it's known for being naturally quite good compared to the rest of the country. Like That's it. Where where the rest of the country would have really bad snow. Yeah, we'll get like 
one millimetre or something. Yeah. I mean, you can't even yeah. build a snowman, it's rubbish. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, yeah. And I, yeah. yeah, I think we don't see a lot of rain. Uh, we do see mist, but occasionally, not often though. No, um, no, no. But with regards to rain, I actually cross compared it to Moscow and yeah. St. Yeah. Petersburg. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, it's lower, the, you know, the amount of... I'm um, not surprised. I, I, see, if you're talking about stereotypes, when I think of Russia, I think of snow. I think it's cold all year round, bad weather. Yeah. So, yeah. The, without probably realizing that there are some parts of Russia because of its size, yeah. some parts of Russia that never see snow. Yeah, yeah, I can <laughs> imagine. Yeah. Because they're so, you know, in the south, yeah. so it, it, it's not really applicable. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, but currently you can say that because they have minus twenty fives at the moment in in. in I Moscow. saw one village that was like minus. This it's like min, They only have a school day, a, a snow day at school if it's minus fifty three degrees or something. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. people are walking around. The pens are freezing, so they can't write. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it could be the case. But there I mean, are some some of these. And here right now like, it's minus two, and everyone's chaos. It's all chaos. Yeah, people. So, yeah. You know, at my place of work, some people didn't come to work because it was snowy. Exactly, you know, yeah. They couldn't get same, um, same with us as well. <laughs> yeah, the services are not ready for the snow, are no, they? No, so no, the, no. the roads are no. pretty bad. Um, so yeah, this was the 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 what well, the second one? Oh no, yeah. the second one I missed. This is this is what we actually discussed already. Um, the stereotypes that British people can control themselves really good, and they yeah. don't be, and they they're not emotional. That's that's yeah. the stereotype. I actually, this is the first one I probably agree with the most because I definitely fit this stereotype. And actually, if I see someone being emotional, I find it quite awkward. So if if I'm in public on a bus or on an airplane, and someone's <laughs> overly angry or overly quiet or yeah. sorry, sorry, overly um, happy. I'm sitting there thinking, "Come on, this we're in public here. Keep it private. Keep your emotions private. Nobody yeah. needs." So I think I think I don't know. If, it's not that we don't have the emotions. It's more that. Maybe you, we like to keep them private and but, stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this lady said that she uh, every time she sees a British person, she yeah. says they're quite open and they they start conversations easily with yeah. with random people, yeah. totally different people. I think that's that's actually quite fair. I think. See, yeah, I agree with that in the fact that certain when you go up, up north in England, that's yeah. definitely true. Everyone right. up there, you can talk to anybody up there, but. Maybe places like London or down south, it doesn't happen so much. Oh, right. Which is a shame because you know, I quite like talking to new people. But mm. you go to London, you get the underground, and people don't even look at each other, do they? You must have had the yeah, yeah. I think I think well, at least I definitely heard it not from yourself, mm. from quite several people. They yeah. are saying that the the north, uh, you know, the the further you go up north, yeah, the 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 more friendly people you can you 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 can meet. Definitely true. Yeah. Definitely true. Yeah. <laughs> Um, right, what's next? Politeness. Okay. That's not the stereotype, I think that's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's definitely true. Like, you could do something where you haven't even done anything wrong, but you'll say sorry to the other person. Like, for instance, if I'm walking through a door, and somebody's walking the other way, and yeah. I'll say sorry to them. Like, it doesn't make any sense, because I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but e everyone does it, everyone does that. Everyone does it, <laughs> I yeah, I think that. I noticed that as well. <laughs> you know, I was trying to make a joke when I was recording a Stereotypes, um, you know, uh, first video, and I said, yeah. you, uh, if you step on someone's foot, he will say sorry. You know, if he steps on your foot, he will say sorry. Yeah. If you step on his foot, he will say sorry. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm probably guilty of that myself as well, all the time. I don't, yeah. But it's yeah. it's probably not too bad. But then I think I faced a bit of a, a, bit of a problem at work because even though I think my emails are polite, but yeah. my boss said they are not, they, they can be taken rude. And I, th and I thought, he didn't like the phrase, for example, please confirm. He said, you don't say that to a customer. And I said, oh, well, I don't think there's anything impolite. I think that's just being direct. Yeah. They probably appreciate that because you're not wasting their time. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, he, he, he said it could be taken in a rude way. So yeah. he said, try try to be exaggerate, exaggerated, polite. You, you yeah, see what yeah. I mean, yeah. Would you mind? Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's what he said. Um, well, the second one, it's not really a stereotype because it's just nouns. Um, okay. But, you know, t um, red buses, um, the telephone, um, 
these cellophane boxes. Boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, and yeah. the post um, thingies. I don't know. Yeah, post post, post boxes. Yeah, post boxes. So the red the buses is it's only really. Um, but it's, again, like you said, it's not a stereotype. In London, that's true. The buses, yeah. are, the buses are red. Mm-hmm. Uh, the rest of the country, not not so. No, they can be any color. Any color. It's, it's only that one's only 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 really valid for London. Um, but yeah. we do like buses with several floors here. I think that's pretty fair. To Is that say. not common in Russia then? No, no. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, yeah. It's, we call them double decker, double, double decker, decker buses. Yeah. That's, yeah. Um, and obviously, and I think the telephone boxes, they're mostly used by tourists these days. Uh, yeah, they're used by tourists and also homeless people who go to the toilet in them, probably. That's it. And I say <laughs> that too. You, know, <laughs> you open it up to make a selfie over there because you yeah. just visited yeah. a country yeah, 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 yeah. and then it just yeah. smells. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, that's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah that's, that's the main use. Some, some places, I know some villages, they... Um, they turn them into a, like a library. All right. So yeah. Oh, leaving like, books for each other. Leaving books for each other. Some villages they'll leave um, the shops will deliver the food to the tele to the to the um, telephone box. So people, oh. if it's a really small village. Yeah. Um, and then like the guy can pick up their shopping from the box stuff like oh, that. Oh right, yeah. that's really interesting. But, yeah, you maybe, didn't know that. There you go. I've taught you something there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But maybe it's just a toilet. <laughs> 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 Right, the next one is, um, and, you know, Russian people believe British people are tea-drinking nation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's true. It is I true. don't know many people who don't like tea. But saying that, I drink, I only drink coffee now, really, more than tea. But okay. I do still, I, yeah, I had one tea today, so. The thing is that in Russia, for example, people don't drink it with milk. So that's yeah, a surprise. It's to strange people. as well because I think in America, if you order a tea, you get an iced tea, oh. which like if for us, for people from England or Britain, is really strange because obviously for us, a tea is a hot drink a with, hot with drink. milk. That would maybe, maybe some people have it with sugar, yeah. not an ice drink. No, um, that's strange. Yeah. Um, so Russia have it without milk. Yeah, we do have it without milk, but we normally add lemon to it. Okay. okay. So um, Larissa loves uh, loves uh, her tea with lemon. So yeah. well, I have the fla- I have the flavored teas, the fruit teas, mm. but we, we don't put milk in that. Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah. That I would guess be, that's uh, the same sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Um, the next one is I don't know what's what's actually the the right term here, but Joe will understand me. It's um, yeah. a stereotype that British people are two faced. Is, do you understand? I know this, I know the term two faced, but I didn't realise that that was a stereotype. Yeah. So, do you want me to explain what two faced means so that they know what that, what yeah, they yeah. know what that is? Yeah, yeah. So basically, it's where you say something to somebody's face, and then when they leave the room, you say something different. You like con- behind their back, you may be rude to them. Yeah. So yeah. You, that's you, it. You're nice. You you'll be friendly to them, and then when they leave the room, you're you're rude to them. But you know, I don't think that's a. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a nice guy, but yeah, <laughs> I didn't realize that. Well, I did because we, with Joe, we were working for the same company. Yeah, I did find that uh, applicable to one of one of our colleagues, um, Barry, who was. I don't know if I should leave it it's, on it's, the video. Is Barry watching this? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Barry. <laughs> so um, he obviously didn't tell me that. But one of my other colleagues, he yeah, said, "Be I careful know. with him. Yeah. You say something, you leave the room, and he will he will say something bad about you." Yeah, I understand. Um, you you sort you sort of learn the people who are two faced, but it's not many people, to be honest. Mm. Well, that that I know of. Maybe yeah. maybe there's more that I don't know about. But that's it. Yeah, I think um, maybe there's maybe a lot of what we call bit. Can I swear? Bitching. Oh, right. What's Which is like talking behind someone's back, I guess. Mm. Uh, yeah, bit, bitching. If you're working in an office, there's normally a lot of bitching. Oh, right. But yeah. I think it's just gossip. It's just people like to gossip. Yeah, that's it. I think it's actually, it's not uh, a unique feature of England. It's yeah. everywhere, yeah, to be honest. Just like uh, to... Adult, people, yeah. adult people just like that crap. Yeah. Yeah. You know, talking, oh, have you heard? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, it's exciting. Oh. You come to work and, oh, have you heard that so-and-so has done this? And, <laughs> that's uh, it. That's they might it. get fired or whatever. I don't know. That's it, yeah. <laughs> people love this crap. Yeah. <laughs> that's why we probably watch yeah. news. No optimistic news <laughs> over there. It's only crap. 
Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. The next one um, is an interesting one because we're yeah. well. I'm drinking um, uh, an energy drink because uh, I'm driving, but Joe is having a cider. The next one is um, British people are drink like a drinking nation. Yeah, I, yeah, definitely. I don't know if it's a younger thing. When I was growing up um, with my group of friends, it was like every weekend you just want to get drunk and even yeah. maybe on a Wednesday as well, Tuesday, <laughs> maybe a Thursday. <laughs> 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 now it, now it's just a weekend. Even, yeah, even now, like uh, on a Saturday, I want to get drunk probably tonight, maybe. Mm. Yeah. And, well, uh, to be honest, I- I'm here, I'm drinking energy drink, but yeah. at home I've got a few pints of beer and, and a bottle of wine. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> well, that's exactly it. I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't think I drink any more than you. I mm. mean, we probably, we've had nights together, haven't we? We've had vodka and whatever I think, else. Joe, it comes, I think, it's only my assumption. Actually, when I was recording that video yeah, about yeah, stereotypes, yeah. I did go to a website yeah. um, that uh, gives you information on average uh, alcohol consumption yeah. per country, yeah. and UK wasn't on the top of the list no. in Europe. No. They were like in the middle. So France and all these other countries, they drink more. Can I can I tell you why this stereotype is? Yeah. It's, it's because the British people, young people, they go on holiday to Spain, Ibiza, um, Greece, and basically the whole idea of the holiday is to spend a whole week as drunk as possible. And they cause a lot of trouble, yeah. They cause a lot of trouble a lot of time, cause some yeah. damage. When I went to Poland, actually, um, a few years ago, they wouldn't let us in the club because they said, no, you're English, you're just going to cause trouble. Oh, really? We, we weren't drunk or anything. Well, maybe a little bit drunk, but... Um, mm. they, yeah, we queued up for 45 minutes and they said, no, no, you're English, you can't come in because you're going to cause trouble. I think that's where it comes from. It's, it's not that we drink more, it's that when we go on holiday, there's a lot of people who tend to mm. cause trouble make some damage, uh, drink too much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Think, but I think, think maybe the balcony. it is actually, <laughs> if you think about it, it's a logical way of getting this stereotype. It's not yeah. that, it's not probably people who spread the word who come in UK, it's probably the people who see uh, the tourists and judge them on, on their behavior. Exactly, yeah. If you, come to, if you come to England, say if you come to Cambridge on a normal week, you're not gonna see people causing no, no. trouble in the streets every day. I actually think part of it, it could be um, because all the pubs are quite busy, but then people don't drink a lot there. They just sit with one pint for a few hours, just chat with their friends because they like to see a lot of the elderly people I notice, yeah. they just use pubs as a meeting, you know, like meeting point. Yeah, I don't know, because even we just went we just went for one drink, didn't we, in the pub? Yeah. And what's the time? Nine o'clock? Yeah. When we were there, it was eight o'clock. Or eight o'clock already. People were drunk, weren't they? Well, so, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, so, well, yeah. <laughs> not every single pub is the same anyway. Um, yeah. Right, the next one is quite offensive, but don't get offended. And I don't know how it come. Don't uh, worry. How it actually came? <laughs> okay, go on. It says uh, British people are bad lovers, and I'm and I'm and I'm, and I'm thinking, how did that stereotype came? Did. Did just a lot of people come to try? <laughs> then the um, I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's. Hopefully, it's not true. Uh, yeah, I've never had any bad remarks. I don't think. To know, <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where that came about because it's it's a weird one. Because French people are considered to be good lovers, and probably Spanish as well. But British people, I don't know. Yeah, they get we get a bad rep for no reason. I mean, yeah. I, I, all I can say is. Um, just come along, come to England, and just see for yourself. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, the the, the Kira, more the better. <laughs> Kira, Kira will give you my address. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyone who wants to try and join, make their own decision. <laughs> but he prefers females, right? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. make that clear, make that clear. Yeah. Um, I'm actually thinking, what, what was I, I was going to say something. I was trying um, to make a joke out of this uh, yeah. when I was recording a video. I don't have experience myself, but what I'm thinking, based on the fact how many of yeah. these websites out there yeah. that are purely used to find yourself uh, a one night, uh, you know, you know, girl. One night stand, stand. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, sh- you think people do practice a lot. <laughs> they probably, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, there's a lot of people on those websites. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah. you know, and and if you're practicing, how can you be bad? <laughs> exactly, practice makes perfect. <laughs> or is it something like if you do something 12 times, you become an expert? Yeah. That's it. There you, you go. Know. I'm, I'm on number 11 now, so I'm, I'm nearly an expert. <laughs> nearly there. <laughs> nearly there. <laughs> Right, the next one is actually related to, to the one we already discussed about emotions. Um, food, it says the stereotype is that Britain has a bad food. Do you think? Yeah, I think I actually do agree with this one because uh, if I was going to choose a restaurant to go to, I, yeah. I would probably choose Indian curry, um, Italian, or I don't know, something like Mexican or something. Yeah. I probably wouldn't choose to go to an English restaurant because, well, I don't know if that's just because I'm so used to English food, you want to try something different. But That's it. I just do prefer Italian food and Mexican food, and you know, it's more it's more flavors in it, really. But the, the thing is that we actually discussed this with Ian as well, yeah. and he said, um, because there's so many restaurants around, yeah. like, you know, we just went outside of uh, Joe's house, yeah. and there's a kebab place out there, you know, and if you go down the street, you'll probably find an Italian place. You will yeah. struggle probably to find a traditional English place, yeah, yeah. you know, because yeah. there will be all other ones a bit yeah. before that. So, um, so many nations live in this country, so many different nations, and you can try any food you want, you know. It's like, you don't, if you want to food travel, you don't have to go anywhere. You probably can find a place with Caribbean food, with yeah. God knows Asian food. So, I don't know if it's a, if, if it's a fair, um, yeah. you know. Well, uh, the thing is, that what you're saying, yeah, it's true. I mean, we spend so much time eating that sort of food. I mean, I was with somebody one time, and uh, I said, what do you want to eat? Um, Indian, Chinese. And they said, oh, can we just have something English, like pizza? I said, <laughs> I said that's not English. Because <laughs> you're just so used to eating it. It's yeah. like, you, you think it's English, but it's yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. Right. The last one is, um, British people have, well, some people notice that British people have a, a pale skin. I don't know. Do you mm. think that's true? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty pale, but this is the winter time, so... Yeah, you, are you, are you <laughs> yeah, just going on holiday or something? No, I'm, I think I'm quite pale myself, you know? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're about the same, actually. Yeah, that's true. So Yeah, I think it is true, If you, especially if you're ginger. Mm. Definitely. There you go. Yeah, ginger people, they, yeah. they pale everywhere, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for that. But <laughs> no, it is, I think it's true, because... That's why we go on holiday. That's why I want to go on holiday to a hot country and spend time in the sun. And yeah. Just enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. We spend so much time in the cold that you want to go away and get mm. a bit of a tan. Yeah. And it, that lasts for about two weeks. I'm actually surprised that I've never seen one stereotype yeah. in that list, and that's about football. I okay. should think it should be there. Okay. Um, do you think England can be called like a, a football nation? Yeah. Or or what is the percentage of people? prefer football over any other sport. I mean, again, it depends on where you're from. If you go up north, somewhere like Manchester, Liverpool, or the north, the northeast, like Newcastle, Middlesbrough, yep. football is like a re religion up there. Mm. People go into work, up, I mean, we work together, I worked on, I've worked up there on an oil refinery. Yep. People come into work wearing like a Manchester City shirt or a Liverpool shirt. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine anyone going to work in a, in a, an Arsenal shirt yep. down in the south. Yep. But uh, yeah, it, I'm pretty crazy about football, you know that. Um, mm. my, a lot of my family are, a lot of my friends are, and yeah, definitely a football nation. Football nation. Yeah. But saying that, people say we like a lot of cricket and rugby. That's rugby, true as well. Yeah, I think personally, that's quite big. personally, it's not for me. Mm. But yeah, not for me at all. But yeah. Yeah, fo football definitely number one, number one sport here. Yeah, and I think that's that's. Well, first of all, it's it's it. That's my list. So we discussed everything. Yeah. And um, yeah. I'm sure Joe will probably opened some some of the some of the uh, secrets for you. Uh, not secrets, yeah. I suppose, but uh, clarified it better than I did, I suppose. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, uh, you know, like interesting question that I can refer to a British person, then please do ask, and uh, I'll record another video with with Joe or if he doesn't agree with someone else <laughs> <laughs> see if they like me first <laughs> yeah that's it thank you guys thank you cheers right Carol let's eat this pizza yeah <laughs> pizza time <laughs>
Ребята, надеюсь, вам понравилось наше видео. Если оно вам понравилось, ставьте лайки, шарьте это видео в соцсетях и оставляйте свои комментарии. И еще, было бы прикольно, если бы вы оставляли свои пожелания, что рассказать об Англии. Поскольку у меня с фантазией не очень, иногда я затрудняюсь находить какие-то темы для обсуждения, так что вы меня спрашиваете, что бы вы хотели обсудить. Ну а на сегодня все. Желаю вам удачи. До следующих встреч.